So in conclusion, their best assault method is to put all your panzers and armor in the front so that they can eliminate all enemy defenses and infantry can move in safely. I'm having a question, Professor. You spend entire lecture teaching about tactics and strategy, but not enough about logistics and support. No, my pupil, victory is through tactics. Well, thank you for teaching me, Professor. Now I will use your knowledge and apply it to real life. You lie to me. <sighs> Yeah, maybe the whole Blitzkrieg strategy is a little outdated. Maybe Germany intentionally taught him poorly just to get back at him for World War II. By the way, if you like these strange videos that I make over here, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. The year is 1918. We must ensure Germany is never capable of military might ever again. Now it's 1945. We must ensure Germany is never capable of military might ever again. The year is 2022. Germany, we need your military might right this instant. Day could not have come sooner. And aren't they still a little reluctant to do it? They're still like, oh. Uh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Why do I feel like Germany is literally this meme right now? And now that the world is on fire and the barbarians are at your gate, you have the audacity to come to me for help? <laughs> It really is, though, like an anime when the good guy needs the bad guy from season one to help take on a bigger baddie. Well, me Balkan friend, Russia be invading neighbor, so I must protect border from them and help refugees. Uh, good luck then, says Bulgaria. A few days later. Been a while since I saw Romania. I sure hope nothing bad happened. Ah! Oh, there he is. Why is he running? Bulgaria, we need to get out of here immediately. Why? Has Russia broke through? No, far, far. Far worse scenes. What could possibly be worse than Russia? NATO, save me, please! Oh. Can't believe those nice Ukrainians let me have these scrap metals and new rides for free. Put, 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 put. Apparently there are reports that gypsies are starting to steal abandoned Russian vehicles. And this clearly terrifies Romania. The five stages of arguing with a Russian nationalist. Russia, why are you doing X? Step one, denial. X? You have proofs I do X? Wow, gullible Westerner. Step two, anger. Why do you always accuse Russia of such things? Step three, bargaining. But you gotta admit, Russia never did more bad things than the West. Step four, depression. Poor innocent Russia being bullied again. West always tries to destroy us, surround with military base. Step five, acceptance much later. I was doing X all along, Russia strong. The crazy thing about this is this comic was made six years ago, but still so relevant. Russland, the international community fully condemns your recognition of Der Hansli- uh, no, not those names. The Donbass regions as republics. This is a violation of Ukraine's territorial sovereignty. Prepare Russland for the biggest and most serious economic sanctions ever be placed onto you since a month ago. And I am no longer gonna smell your butt. I am don't care, says Russia. So basically because they can just have oil prices go through the roof, they don't really care much about the sanctions. But I'm sad we won't be seeing any more Germany sniffing Russia's butt for the whole, like, gas thing. Germany needs Russian gas, apparently. The United States with some sort of can right here. Ugh, what is this? Who would eat this? Looks off into the distance. Hmm? Oh, that's the UK and the Soviet Union. That's who would eat this. Yeah, that's supposed to be spam. I didn't know you guys liked this. I am good. No, thank you. I'll pass. Pulling on a call with the USA, Russian forces will advance according to the plans I've just sent you. Your capital will be shelled with four mobile missile launchers. Take care. Stay strong and remember that I and the rest of NATO will help you. Um... America, sir, here is Poland, not Ukraine. Think you mixed up telephone numbers. No, I did not. <laughs> not again. Yeah, Poland might want to start to prepare because they might be neighbors with the old Russians again. Just like old times. Hold still, Ukraine. This will only hurt for a moment. Get out. Ah, you wish that not. Oh, holdings of Odin moment. Ding, ding, ding. Hmm? You messed up real bad this time, Russia. You thought you could get away with this? Ha. Well, guess what? The EU is prepared their forces to terminate you once and for totos. What the? Why is Brazil saying this? Oh, was not expect this to happen. Gonna order boom boom devices to shoot at Brazil. Telling Venezuela to prepare to invade. Brazil siding with no no German scum. Threatened to invade glorious mother Russia. I will not bow to any foreign nation, especially not during special military. Huh? Somebody stole my phone. What did they say? Invading you? 
Ukraine? Brazil's very confused. If you need me help, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to help in Ukraine. Nothing is off the table. I am open to help with anything you need. Just send me a message if you need. Okay, yeah, just gonna censor that last part. So I guess Brazil has been pretty on the fence about the whole Russian situation. President says one thing, vice president says another, and then despite their leader, Brazil votes against Russia on UN resolution. I think they're a little confused. Yeah, I think everyone's watching that whole BRICS alliance very closely right now, even if it is only just an economic thing. Welcome, says Poland. No need visa to the Ukrainians, but at the same time saying no need visa to these other country bowls. Yeah, I thought I was the only one that noticed just how ironic this was. Clay of mine? India. Ugh. This be my clay, says China. W what? Why? Well, I used to own this land, so it's rightfully mine. That is not good reason. You didn't own the land. Ancient me did. That can't be fair. If every clay can claim their old clay, it'd be chaos. Ha, like I care. No land has claimed China before. Uh, what are you looking at? Unconquered asks India. Shut up, responds China. <laughs> yeah, technically speaking, if we're talking about old conquered land, uh, Mongolia should technically take like a quarter of the earth. I mean, they could ask for Korea, all of China, even parts of Burma and Vietnam, a huge chunk of the Middle East and all of Central Asia, even Russia and Ukraine, technically. I think if you're going to use this argument, they might have the most claims of all. Hey, could you pass this to Japan? Asks the USA to their state organ. Maybe tomorrow, they say next day. Hey, Hawaii, can you pass this to- What? Oh. Oh. I think, uh, a little bit of chaos happening here. Hi. Let's have peace. Oh. Yeah, Oregon, I think you might have been a little too late. Unfortunately, Pearl Harbor has already occurred. I guess FDR sent a letter to Japan asking for peace, but he sent it on December 6th, 1941. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say even if they did get this letter in time, it probably wouldn't have changed anything. Great engineering moments of WW2. Japan, who's almost finished this amazing aircraft carrier. When will the project be completed? About mid-1945. Excellent. Unfortunately, they don't know that's gonna be a little too late. Our new model U boat is cutting edge technological machine. It's so advanced it needs a specially trained operative to flush the toilet. Wonderful. I cannot see how this could backfire at all. Then there's this French ball who created some sort of big boom boom device that's apparently supposed to be remote control. I don't think it really was though. This aircraft to be our top priority. Limitless manpower, endless budget, whatever resources you require. We've already bulldozed an entire village for it. So what specifications has the ministry given? Oh the best, the best. It has to have sleeper cabins for every passenger, full dining facilities, a cinema lounge and cocktail bar. Uh, how is that gonna help the war effort? W war effort? Okay, so obviously these aren't actually the greatest moments in World War II engineering. Wait, wait, there might actually be a good one in here. What's that you've got, Marine? Sir, it's a gun. I made from three other guns, sir. Outstanding work as you were. Oorah. Leave it to America to invent something like that. The old USSR looking at their Ukraine state from back in the day. Gib wheat. Similar, now it's just Russia saying Gib Crimea to Ukraine. How many times have I had to say the more things change, the more things stay the same? I cannot make promise promise it's easy, but with hard work and much time, we both can be better off. Ukraine now looks at Russia. Make join of custom union or I break legs. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Sorry, Europe. It's not you, it's me. Yeah, a few years ago when Ukraine was in this position, um, I guess no wasn't an option. Russia, stop, says the USA and EU. Don't do it, Russia. It's not nice. We will both sanction you. Does Ukraine still get sucked in? We do good. Yes. Thank you. What a difference. Everyone deserves a pat on the back. Hello, comrades. How are you doing today, says Vietnam. I'm fine. A bit busy oofing thousands of citizens, says Cambodia. Oh, by the way, this is 1978. Um, excuse me? Also, I'm attacking you now. And I'm supplying weapons for him to do so, says China. Well, I don't understand. We're all communists. Shouldn't we be allies? Ah, <laughs> We all communists, shouldn't we? Oh, shut up, says Vietnam. Only a year later, too. Yeah, the 1970s in Southeast Asia was a very strange time. It does not get enough attention. Running crew in solidarity with my shorty Ukraine. We must destroy the Russian thing we own that we love most. <gasps> oh no, Canada destroying Tetris. Mexico destroying La Russa, a roller coaster. And oh no, USA, they've got to get rid of the Russian salad dressing. What? What? I don't think Mexico or Canada think this was a big enough sacrifice. I think if America really wanted to do the right thing here, we should just blow up Alaska. That's clearly the most Russian thing we have. Oh, two buttons to choose. Join NATO or join Russia. Oh goodness, this was made back in January. Oh, things have changed. Chad 1960 versus Romania in 1989. Yay! 
yes, Romania is no more communist. Chad should into make unique flag. Romania should get rid of communist watermark. Color, color, color. Rip. Wow, flag's so unique. Chad don't think we'll have consequence. Wow, this flag is like the good old times. So unique. Romania think no consequence. And that is how we got to where we are today. Two nations with the same flag. To be fair though, Chad was like 19 years early. Now we really need one on Ireland and the Ivory Coast. If the 15th century in the Philippines, nothing interesting ever happens here. Why am I irrelevant? <gasps> A white person. Listen up, Filipinas. You are mine now, says Spain. Oh, but somebody else is here. Brunei Sultanate. They also want the Philippines. Oh, and now they've both brought out their armies. Well, my army's new. Here are the Ottomans here to back them up. Even Japan? What is everyone doing in my piracy hideout? Present day. Seriously, Philippines. I had nutmeg and, um, maha... Apit? I forgot how to pronounce this one. Has nothing really interesting happened to you, says Indonesia? None at all. I think this is the way the Philippines responds to this question, just because they don't want to get into it. Their history is very long and very complicated, but you can't say it was boring, that's for sure. The Spaniards were bringing in Aztec and Incan soldiers while the Ottomans were coming to assist the Bruneians. There were even samurai pirate groups. Am poor, says Russia, with the Baltic states in the background. Oh, what a nice kebab. Turkey approves of this. This is probably the comic that made all these countries join NATO. It was that easy. Let Papa Russia tell you a story about how Russia got so big. It's a little known fact that West propaganda ignore, but all Russia wars were defensive. Like time back in 1970s when evil Afghan group for no reason at all attacked peaceful Democratic Republic of Afghanistan. Long story short, it ended in a draw. I went easy on them. Or the time back in the 1700s when Sweden decided to suddenly declare war pretty much on everyone at once. Oh yeah, the Great Northern War. Or in 2014, when annexed Crimea after Crimea Republic- Wait, wait. Since you annexed Crimea, doesn't that mean you attacked so-called Crimea Republic? Anyways, as I was saying, Ukrainian Republic becomes part of Russian Federation after- Oh yes, gotta love those Russian bedtime stories. Yeah, I figured this is the exact tweet this comic was referring to. Tired of having water leaks through your clay? Wanna wash stains from visiting colonies? Wanna make life a bit more convenient? I've got the product for you, the Belgium. Made 50% Dutch and 50% French. With this special clay, you can can resolve all your worrisome problems with ease. Tally ho as the UK rides the Belgium. You can turn it into a flotation device to cross the biggest rivers. You can turn it into a sponge to remove stains. Thanks, says Spain. These blood stains are hard to get rid of. You can even use it as defense for your land. Oh. Wait, okay, never mind. It can't, it can't do that necessarily. I love that these were all historical references that Belgium has been used for. England, the British Empire, Spain, and yeah, France thought they'd be a good speed bump. I guess not really though. And big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Young Waifu. Fat Nuts. Gerbil Boy. Why am I doing this? Sussy Melody. Rai the Pie. Nora the Bald Free Smiley Philip Lover. Philip R.F. Orton 5610. Alex Whitley Grandpa. is Mega Chad. Alphonso M6. Alf Fat Norwal. Aryan After Hours. Barnes Bring CW. Back Poland Canadian Ball. Union. I Stole Drew's Pet Dogs. Luxembourg Majestic Lover. Unicorn. Max Cooper, Mick Blorf, and Mimoshiki. 